So this is episode two of Laser Cutting and Illustrator. And in this episode, we're actually going to design something and it's going to be really simple. We're going to design a drinks coaster. And on that drinks coaster, we're going to have a word etched on it. So here I am in Illustrator. And the first thing I've done when I've come into Illustrator is bring up this dialog box here. And you can bring up this transform dialog box by going up to window and down to transform. And I like to have this here so I can see the properties of any object I'm working with. Now, the first thing we're going to do is draw the outline of our drinks coaster. And to do that, I'm just going to go over to the shapes tool and draw a rectangle. And you can see here, I've got this rectangle. Now I want the drinks coaster to be 95 millimeters by 95 millimeters. And what I'm going to do is go over to my transform dialog box, uncheck this chain link option, and just change these numbers to 95 and 95. So you can see there, I've got a perfect square of 95 by 95 millimeters. The next thing I want to do is round the corners. And you can see here on the transform dialog box, we've got this corner control. You can also see we've got these circular handles here that we can round the corners with. Now I'm just gonna up this corner radius to about five millimeters. And that's starting to look like the shape of a coaster. So I mentioned I wanted to put some text in the middle of this coaster. Well, to do that, all I'm going to do is go to my text option, click on that, and click anywhere and just start typing some text. Now I've just typed out my text and now I can change the font. I can change the size and I can edit it just as I would any other text. However, for laser cutting, text is no good to us. We only work with shapes. So what we've got to do is convert this text from editable text into shapes. To do that, we just need to click on the text, right click and create outlines. And you can see if I zoom in now, each of these letters is now a shape rather than editable text. The next thing is to put this text in the dead center of our coaster. So I'm gonna click on the text, which is all grouped. I'm going to shift click on the coaster and I'm going to hold caps lock and click on the coaster again. Now you can see the coaster has gone to this thick blue line and that's made it the key object. And if we go to our alignment tools, we're actually going to align any objects we've got selected to our key object. And if we go up here to this option here, you can see we're aligning to our key object. So that's a really cool way of aligning two different objects. So this has been a really simple design. We've got some text that we've converted from editable text into shapes. And we've got this outside borderline, which is describing the outside of our coaster. I'm going to leave it there for now. And in the next episode, we're going to talk about export options and taking this design from where it is now and getting it laser ready.